Hey everybody, Matt Summerfield here. So just a little heads up, this episode, the sound's going to be a little weird. We had some technical issues, so that's why we're releasing two episodes today instead of just one. But we hope you enjoy. It was just such a fun episode, which is why we wanted to put it out there. Uh, we had such a good time making it, so hopefully you still enjoy it. Uh, thank you for being such faithful listeners, and enjoy the two episodes. Thanks. So here we are. Mm-hmm. In, in the basement. We're here. Once again. We're, we're, back, uh, we're back next to the bungalow. Oh, yeah. I had a nickel for every time. I had a nickel for every bumhole. That's true. Well, you used to be a proctologist, right? No, you didn't. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Somebody else I know. I, is it I don't know many proctologists, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I don't know any. I know none. Yeah. I should probably at least know one. We, we're we getting to the age where we should probably know one. We're just like, eh, I'm going to ask this guy. Because you don't want a cold Did call. Did you say ask? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to cold call a proctologist. Well, you what don't if, want him cold calling you. What if you're a salesman strictly to proctologists? I got to cold call some proctologists today. Oh, that's kind of a crappy job. Isn't oh. It? Uh, <laughs> ah, that's whiskey bits. Welcome to Whiskey Bits with Matt and Phil, where we sip on everyday whiskeys and find the funny in our everyday lives. Uh, so today, <laughs> wow, Jeez, that's a great opening. That was good. So today we're we're gonna try a, a bottle of whiskey that is uh, certainly certainly doesn't look like it's the best. But let's find out if it's. Let's anything. find it out. Yeah. So this is Old Overholt. This is uh, Steve Holt. Steve Holt. Oh, for all you arrested fans out there, Steve. Old Overholt bottled and bond straight rye whiskey. So again, bottled and bond. Okay. Single distiller, single season. Straight rye. Straight rye whiskey. So that means just all rye? Nothing else? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means oh. that it has at least 51%, 51% rye. rye. Yep. Yep. Okay. So it's uh, we also know it's 100 proof and aged for four years because it's got all of the bottled and bond stuff. Bottled and bond stuff. So in reading the back of this bottle, read it. we do find that this is one of the first whiskeys that was bottled and bond. Huh. Uh, on the front of it, it looks like this George Washington dollar bill type of character. Mm -hmm. um, kind of has that whole look on the bottle. Could be old being. Overholt himself. Could be old Overholt. Probably Overholt. is. Born in PA, made in Kentucky. 100 proof straight rye whiskey. Uh, Lee PA. Overholt co company here. PA is Pennsylvania. PA is Pennsylvania. Yep. Also, physician's assistant. Yeah. Also, the capital is Harrisburg. Uh, do you know what... what me and this bottle of whiskey have in common? Uh, a slight jaundice tint to your skin. Uh, no, oh. both born in PA. Oh, you're born in PA. Yeah. Oh, the Look at eerie, that. Erie PA. Yeah. Born and not raised. You should also get the jaundice checked out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll works. call my partal. Oh, you call? Uh, th that's... Yeah, sure, go ahead. Do that. Yep. <laughs> All right, so uh, in our... Um, as keeping with our theme... Whoa. <laughs> I know it's the crap out of that. You really got it. I just that like you put that Jewish nose. Oh my gosh, it's ass. way up in there. Yeah, can't help it. Thanks, Grandma. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. We um, so sticking with our theme mm -hmm. of fifty dollars bottles of whiskey ah, or less. Ah. And you're always wondering about this brand, or you're always running, wondering right. about this this particular whiskey. Twenty nine ninety nine. Perfect. Um, yeah, it's that's it's, like the sweet spot to me. Because even, you know, 40s, 50s, I'm like, ah, I got to think about it. Yeah. 20s, 30s, I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, I will good. just get it. Like, it's no sweat. Right. Some would say, well, if I had the choice of going with a 20 or $30, getting two in that, or, man, I could just grab that one for 30 40 50 you know, hey, that's 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 always a question as well. Right. Um, so hey, let's let's give this one a try. Let's give it a shot. So with your nosing, uh -huh. there, the um, intense nosing, the intense it nosing, was... was it just too much? You didn't really actually get. No, I actually was like, I'm just gonna go for it. And yeah. Sweetness. And there it gets sweet, but I also I I can you can kind of smell the sour. Like, yeah. There's just a little yeah. bit of sour. I think that that actually is more it. what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I tend to sour. I tend to kind of mix sweet and sour together in the in your nose. Well, in the nosing, yes. Okay. Um, taste okay. for sure. Obviously, you can tell the difference. Like sweet mm -hmm. isn't gonna like 
pucker your face. But right. But in the nosing, I think sweet and sour is to me kind of sometimes one of the same for now at least. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, real sweet, but like I feel like it. I mean, we we just were talking about this earlier tonight. Weird ways to describe what we're smoking. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got a weird one. I got like a, a picture of like you have these two, like a pencil. If you cut a pencil cross section. Oh my gosh! Right. Okay. The wood uh-huh. is one smell, and then in the center, there's like a strong. Correct. So that sour, yeah, that sour mm-hmm. smell really kind of comes in stronger in the center. I don't yeah. know. It's really weird that I'm saying that. But, but. I mean, I when I smell it again. I do get freshly sharpened pencil. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what I was going for. That's what I was trying to say. Couldn't find the words. Yeah. And I am... I... <laughs> freshly sharpened sour <laughs> pencil candy. <laughs> uh, anytime I think of a person sharpening a pencil, though, I can't help but to look at you and think of the time that you had an attachment on a drill. You were working on my basement. You... You had an attachment on a drill to to sharpen a pencil, and you stood there, you stood a fresh pencil, and you just brand looked new, at me brand the new whole the thing and ran it all the way, all the way to the eraser, just for the laugh. Just for the joke. I went, dude, just, that was it. You'd be like, I don't know. Nah, and you I moved wasted the pencil, man. Wasted the pencil. Just, I was like, you know what? I'm halfway there. Might as well just go for yeah, it. Yeah, I couldn't. I, 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 so I'll never think of freshly sharpened pencils. <sighs> In the same way, I've never seen that. But. My nickname in high school was Sacapunta, which means to sharpen or pencil sharpener, I guess. Oh, okay. My little Puerto Rican friend, I Manny. Think, I think we should Manny. probably Google that. Well, it's not the other one. Sacapunta. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. No, you ask anybody that speaks Spanish, like, oh, yeah, pencil little sharpener. We'll ask all of them. It's like a nickname. Spanish. Ask all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, all the ones that listen to this podcast. <laughs> all right, let's get this one taste. Get this one down. Okay. Yeah. Down the hatch. Down, down the, the hatch. Sin. Try so hard not to make noises into the microphone. Yeah. Sin. <laughs> I'm curious what you think about this one. I have opinions immediately. I'm. Get, I'm getting kind of a. Slight cherry cough syrup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. In the end, in, oh, in the but finish. not yeah. not um, offensive to the point where because I, I don't I actually have never minded cough syrup. Uh, always found <laughs> it alone fat. Always found it cough syrup and Pedialyte. I mean the two together, mm-hmm. so good. Um, don't do drugs. <sighs> What's the word Pedialyte? Any of them. Oh, okay. oh, I love it. Yeah, and strawberry and kiwi. You don't you like mix them? Just mix them. Yeah, just okay. put them together. And... Do you put like a like sardo cherry in there? Like do you do you yeah, like, garnish those... it with an orange no, peel? Garnish it with a menthol on a cough drop. <laughs> it's a little spice. Oh, okay. No, this is like yeah, kind of minty? Minty, yeah. Minty yeah so fresh. you make a mint julep essentially mm-hmm. with um with things. I, I while you think about oh well, you you said the, the cherry cough syrup, mm-hmm. a little bit of that. Um I I just I get like a um uh, a spice or a burn yep that isn't and maybe this is the cough syrup and the cherry like that kind of spicy burn that isn't from the alcohol it's not from the 100 proof it's like almost like um almost like like, like pins or needles like uh-huh. just sort of like in your mouth that you you kind of it hurt a little but it not a lot chew a lot of pins and needles soon mm-hmm. no well, but i also don't cut a lot of pencils in half. that's true Sure, sharpen just sharpen them. them all the way. No, I, 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 I would agree. It's like, uh, like if the end of pop rocks. Ah, uh, yeah. Like when they yeah without the sweet. I don't think right. I'm not getting a lot of sweet. I'm, I'm getting, getting a, like the sour. It's kind of like a yeah, like spicy, a, like a spicy, mm-hmm. spicy berry, but not overly berry. Spicy mm-hmm. cherry, maybe. Mm-hmm. Like I. Uh, mm. I can see this going it's better too. I can see it going really well mm-hmm. with a strawberries and cream Dr Pepper. Wow, it mixed it. Or... Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm. It's so good. Have you tried it? The strawberries and cream with Dr Pepper. Oh my gosh. No. It's. I mean, what else do you need, really? I mean, are those part of the original twenty three flavors? That's or what I don't get. Is yeah. I was like, how many flavors? They already got twenty three. Did they not have strawberries and strawberries and cream? Wasn't in there, or is it more strawberries? 
I don't know. It's like yeah. the licks to the center of the Tootsie Pop. The world may never know. Yeah. Three. Is that three? I thought we saw the commercial. So yeah. like it. Um, sure. This one's really good. It is I, really good. I, I, I do it. agree that a mixed a mixed drink of some sort mm-hmm. would, would, would handle this pretty well. I think the 100 proof helps a lot with that. Um, but I think just a just as far as a rye is concerned, mm-hmm. this isn't terrible. No, I mean I've had better. I've also had way worse. Oh yeah, and for twenty nine dollars, a hundred proof. It almost, a screw top. I, yeah, it's really it good. almost feels like it's halfway there to an old fashioned already in mm. the flavors. Uh, I mean, you got the cherry, right? I, I think that's what I'm. There's yeah. some familiarities to. Maybe the bitters. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if I'm getting whatever's in mm-hmm. Angostura bitters or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But th- there's there's a similar... Maybe that's why they chose to use red as a part of their color scheme. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, the cherry. What is it? Does it give you any notes? No. It doesn't say anything? No, it's $29. I don't think they really care what it tastes like. They couldn't afford more one letters on the label. They're like, sorry guys, we put one more word on here. We're going to have to charge 30 And we're just, we want to keep it under 30 yeah. So I want to keep it under 30 um, so this is non-chill filtered. Um, it does have this, and I, I don't think I've seen this on the back of a bottle before. To give the whiskey a richer, fuller flavor uh, is the reason that they non-chill filter. It says in cold temperatures, the whiskey may appear cloudy or have visible particles, which is both normal and natural. Which I don't think I've ever seen that. No, never seen it in a bottle. Right, right. But you hear when you, if it's unfiltered, Right. Then well, yeah. you might get pieces of charcoal. Sure, I mean, yeah, for for sure. Um, so the other thing that that you know to point out here, this is not a bourbon. This is a rye whiskey, um, and so this is going to have that heavier rye that we were talking about, fifty one percent rye. So that, you know, that might be a part of the reason that we don't see it. The corn, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Okay. Anyways, I'm not getting a lot of corn. I mean, my no. guess would be you haven't said uh, corn husk on this one. I know. And I feel go to with the bourbon. I'm nervous about it. No, I feel like there's probably some barley in there. Oh, because of the sweet. There's just kind of a sweet and sour kind of. Thing. There's probably some corn in it, just not as much. Like one kernel. Did you get all the corn kernel? Because I feel like you should have left some for me. Well, I need to throw this in there. Oh, I know finicky. Oh, I know what makes. Me... Sorry. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, it makes me. Man, God. What makes you mad? Yes. Okay, tell me about... So with this... Is this finicky or pet peeve? It's both. Okay. Fini- my yeah, finickiness... I mean. What makes me me is the fact that I'm just so finicky about certain things. Mm-hmm. I don't know that I'm necessarily a rarity. I feel like a lot of people can relate to my finickiness. But I tend to voice my finickiness. <laughs> or at least it's more apparent or you notice it more with me. Whereas others might be more reserved. With other people? A lot? I don't know. Or did people just pick up on it? What do you mean? I think people should tell. Hmm. <laughs> they can tell. <laughs> they walk in like, hi, your name is Matt? You well, let me just give you an example. A lot of it has to do with food. You look finicky. Like, like right. sharing yeah, yeah, yeah. sharing food. Ooh. I do not want to share food. Okay. At all. Okay. <coughs> Cough at 1344 in the middle of the... Um, so, like, the best example, and probably everyone can relate to this, is mm-hmm. you order, honey, do you want some fries? I'm going to go get some fries. Even if fries is the only thing I'm going to get. I'm talking like it's 10 o'clock. Well, you don't get some fries. Not that's Madison would say that, especially when she was pregnant. She was saying that to you, yeah. Like, oh, when she was pregnant, like, oh, can you go get? I thought that was you saying it, like, to myself, yeah, something because that would be better than like making fun of your wife. I, oh, no, I obviously love her, but of course, I'm just pointing, I'm setting the scene here. Yes, she wants me to get fries because she, yes. she was pregnant when she wanted fries. Okay, I think she still wants fries, but <sighs> sans pregnancy. Um, moving on, uh. <laughs> So I would go get fries, uh, okay? But but like, um, when she's like, oh, I don't want fries, I would call her. I'm like, hey, I'm going to stop at Wendy's. Do you want any fries? No. Okay, cool. I, I get fries. I'm going to get some fries because I was out working late or something. I think back when I Ubered or whatever. Oh, okay. uh, I'm going to, you know, do you want any fries? I'm going to get some fries. No, no, no. Come home. It's the first thing she does. 
takes the freaking prize. Pet peeve. Now, I'm not the only one sharing food, right? Like, or like, oh, I don't, I don't want that. Or like, oh, it's just, it's, it's more, it's even like the reach, the reach at the restaurant. That's the mm. worst. It's like the reach across. It's like, can you, no, I, I think I get you. And I think, oh man, I have like, this is like, I don't even like sharing food with friends. Well, and everybody's your friend. So everyone is my friends. That's a lot of food. So you don't like sharing with anybody. I don't. Strangers or friends. No, just or fun. strangers that aren't no, friends. No, the, that are the friends. worst now is like, what was it we ordered the other day? Mm. Uh, Pad Thai or Chipotle or something where you order, you know, we have the three kids and two of us. So like, we're trying to, you know, be smart and like, okay, we'll get, you know, the kids can split this. But like this last time we just totally messed it up. I mean, mm-hmm. it was like we got one thing for all three kids to split. And, and Madison. Yeah. And then me. And I was like, I just wanted my freaking burrito bowl <laughs> to myself. And so, like, <laughs> I'll do these little, I have these tricks. Because, like, the kids are still hungry. And I'm, I'm like, just get them all their own bowl of leftovers. Like, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but, so what I do is the hot sauce in mine. <laughs> so that I'll nobody, or, like, extra dairy, please. Because <laughs> half my family can't have dairy. <laughs> I'm a horrible person, I think. I, right? Is this what it's sounding like? It's, it's really terrible. But I get you, and, <sighs> and I had a moment once where I absolutely snapped. You did? Yeah. I don't know if I ever All snapped. around this. All, it was it, absolutely of the food. This. Yeah, and it was so dumb. <laughs> and I felt so terrible about it. But I'm, I'm, I'm on vacation. I pour myself a glass of milk. <gasps> I touch my milk. I get myself... The package of Oreos. Oh, yeah. I sit down. I just want to watch a little hockey. Finish off my night with some Oreos dumped in milk. It's not too much to ask. You work hard. My kid goes up to the bag of Oreos, grabs an Oreo. I'm holding the milk, and he goes, and I went, dude, you don't dunk in another man's milk. What are you doing? With another man's Oreo. I was so upset in that moment. (laughs) Like, I yelled, and I was like, I made him feel like, a, you know, he's a small kid. I made him feel like a little, t- I was so mad. He was three, you made him feel like he was one. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was so mad, and then I was like, what would have made that better? Hey, can I dunk? Would have been fine. I'm totally fine. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm okay with sharing, but there has to be an expectation. There has to be at least the common courtesy of, hey, we're going to share this. But no. Is that okay? The, no. For me, that's what it was. No, we're not going to share anything. So I can see you <laughs> absolutely being the one that snaps if somebody comes up and like, oh. Well, the thing is, is I'm a generous person. What? I will buy you your own mm-hmm. carton of Oreos. Yeah. And you may have the whole thing. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, just, no. I don't want to share. And I feel like it's a selfish thing that I probably need to figure out. But it's just, I don't know. I think, I think honestly, some of it is, uh, I, I grew up in a house with six kids. Mm. And so, oh, okay. yeah, like I was the second oldest, um, oldest in my biological family, second oldest in the split family. So I had a stepbrother above me and then everyone else was younger. Anyway. So, but like you, you had to, I mean, they didn't buy a lot of food. They didn't buy a lot of food. They had the big, the worst thing my stepmom would have is salmon hot dogs. Salmon hot dogs, Phil. I like salmon. I like hot dogs. <laughs> Don't put them together. They shouldn't share. They should never be in the same sentence. And uh, unless it's like, man, that is a hot dog outside. I wonder if he would like to cool down with a piece of salmon that I slap in his face. Because it's in wa- got water on it. That's so, a, I mean, that is a... That is quite the sentence that you had to craft to get hot dogs. Exactly. The same they sentence. should not be together. Never. So had to fend for yourself, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And so it was like finally when I could like, oh, I don't have to share food with, you know, this mm-hmm. five other kids. Like, oh, cool. I want my own. Mm-hmm. And then uh, then all of a sudden you start creating more mouths. And they're like, can I have, oh my gosh, like I bought kefir. And what's, what's kefir? Kefir is it's like a probiotic yogurt drink. 
Oh. Yeah, that's good. And I was like, oh, I'll get some kefir. Yeah. This episode brought to you by... Bought kefir. kefir. And I bought some kefir. It's just fun to say kefir. <laughs> I mean... Bought some Sutherland. Yes. Kefir Sutherland. I didn't realize he was named after a yogurt. Mm. Um, Interesting. Kind of like Paul Newman's... Yeah, the spaghetti sauce. I didn't realize they were. Yeah, they named. Why did they wow. name this spaghetti they... sauce after him? I don't know. What are the chances his face would be on there too? That's interesting. But you know, the second you pull out of that bag, the kids are like they're like little leeches. They're like they, they can smell you yeah. coming from across the street in your mm-hmm. car. They hear it or smell the exhaust or whatever it is. But they're like, "Can I have some? Can I have some?" And I'm like, "You're cute. I've made you, and I have to deal with this now." <laughs> no, <laughs> you're done. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Sharing food. It's it's more when, I think what it is, it's more when someone's like, I don't want that. Thanks for asking. And then when they see it that I've got for myself, then they take it. Yeah. That's, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Like I said, generous. I'll buy you a large. Mm-hmm. Just and that's off. how you can fix it. Just buy yourself the large. With the mindset of the expectation that as soon as as soon as I get home, I see what you're saying. As soon as I get home, they're gonna they're gonna reach for this. So I'm just gonna buy it anyway, because you have said no. I have made sure that you said no, but I know when this bag. I know a no means a yes. Yeah, but then they're gonna be reaching into that bag, taking out the fries, looking to dip it in ketchup. I don't want to deal with that. I'm just gonna get the extra large fries. Here's the thing. Yes, it's a dollar fifty. If you end up throwing away the extra fries, who cares? Oh, exactly. You're just going to eat it. Mm-hmm. Like, I always want more fries. Well, who doesn't? But I'm trying to be healthy. Best fries in the world? Wendy's. Any fry in the bottom of the, <laughs> the paper. Oh, bag. yeah. That's right. Or the one fry. I think I heard that there's a restaurant on with Burger King or Wendy's. It's not Burger King. They're well, the worst fries of all. Time. No, no. Where they purposely put a fry in the onion rings. When you get onion rings, because I always get onion rings from Burger King, and they purposely put one fry in because it's like surprise fry. <laughs> I don't think that's that true. Is. Every time I'm, I'm telling you, every time I get onion rings, there's always a little mini, well, tiny. It's because baby it gets fry. stuck in the basket. Yeah, probably. they use the same oil. It's like let me have my dream fill. Okay. okay, let me have yep, my fantasy surprise world. Fry. Let me live in my fantasy world and enjoy my surprise fry. Surprise fry. Speaking oh. of surprises, surprise twenty nine ninety nine. Pretty darn good. I'm adding it to the shelf. Yeah? I mean, I've already bought it, so it's... You, you, have, to, you have to add um, it to your this shelf. Is, this is a replacement. I've, I've, I've tried this one before. This one this one going on the shelf. I like this one. Oh, you've bought this before? Yeah, but I've never drank it neat. I always, I've always i always oh. mixed it. See? Because of... Perhaps because of how it is. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I don't think I've done the bottled in bonds. So this, okay. is, this is new for me, but... Am I selfish, though? Oh, are you selfish? <laughs> No, no, you're quite generous. I feel like but, I'm but I think there's a, I think that there's unspoken I, boundaries. There, I mean, there's definitely boundaries, and that's not selfish ever. Boundaries are never. So you're gonna do a whole episode on boundaries because I ain't got none. Okay. <laughs> Next episode of boundaries. Boundaries. No. <laughs> that was me. That was be frustrating for me because what's like my pet peeve is having to explain things to people. So how do you enjoy <laughs> doing this at all? How do you even survive? I hate it. I, I hate, hate my it. friend. This is, I don't like it at all. Um, congratulations on the number of episodes that we've done so far. Yeah, this, this is, is the last one. What the fuck? <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> this is good. This is episode 27. I can't believe it. We've straight I guess it comes after 26. I think, yeah. Yeah, I thought we'd kill each other by now, but we haven't. Yeah. Yeah, it's just funny to think about how much whiskey in a year. Mm. This was less, but we were doing like two ounce pours for. Oh. And then we cut back. Yeah, that was good. Our proctologist, your proctologist was like, very appreciative. Uh, you cut back. Just very, a little bit. Back it off a little. Just, I, you know, it, just, for the record, I don't see. There. I don't go yeah. to. I don't Donald think. Trump for my time. I'm not doing a Donald Trump. <laughs> it was a little Donald Trumpy. He'd be like, look, look, at, like, no, because he'd be like, look, this is the greatest colon I've ever seen. Of all the colons, this one's the greatest. Maybe my colon's slightly better. My yeah. colon, a little better. Probably, most likely, yes, definitely better. But your colon, pretty good. Of all the colons, I feel like we have a twin colon. Your colon would be like, 
with a VP to my colon. My colon, president of the colon state, president of the body, really the best body of all the bodies. Yours, vice president, make colons great again. <laughs> I can't do impressions, <laughs> I told you. I'm, I'm in a lot. Can we just call it make colons great again? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Who, right. is, who that was, is that? That was fantastic. That voice. That. Well, thanks well, for <laughs> thanks for doing this. Uh, <laughs> good times, Phil. Thank you so much for that. That was good. Really fun. I'm only about that high for a while. All right. Well, until right. next time. Till next time, Colin Man. No problem. Whiskey bits. <laughs> next time on Whiskey Bits. No cherry again. I'm getting cherry again. Last week we had cherry. This week it's not, but it's not cough syrup cherry. This is more like pure hmm. cherry cherry. Hmm. Maybe it's the fact that we had bread earlier. We didn't have bread. We did. We did earlier. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. You're, actually, you're like, you're like, you're like, maybe it's because we had bread earlier. I'm like, we didn't have bread. But you no, did. You did earlier. <laughs> wow. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> Why don't you refute exactly what I just said and then confirm exactly what I just said? I just said wanted it to be within the same sentence. I wanted it to be mine. Could you do that? Oh, I wanted to take credit for it. Okay, that's what that was. Like I get a yeasty, a yeasty. <laughs> don't say that to me. Let's say yeasty. You put yeast in your bread? I did actually. <laughs> yeah, quick rise. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Whiskey Bits. Please like, share, and subscribe wherever you watch or listen to podcasts.